Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is ready to engage in a game. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. If you see this, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the warrior. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Herb Dean, third man, the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. watching the beginning of these fights as guys try to really set the tone of the fight and the pace at which we are going to fight. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. If you walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Went for the inside leg kick. On point with that jab today. Lands a nice leg kick. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Sure. 
whiffs on the right hand. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Two minutes to go. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Lee. Lands a nasty body kick. And again, right back to the well with the body. Need that takedown. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Wow, what a head kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice. Nice. Under a minute to go. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Another nice leg kick there by Lee. Nice by the shot. Oh, misses with the jab. Overhand is good. Final seconds of round one. In the books. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Take a seat. Deep breath. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better with your Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous fight? And both these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fist. Big right hand. And a knee. Oh! Big head kick. Tried to go to the body, but not able to connect. Him hurt bad here. Oh, nice body shot. Sit down, hands up. The right hand just misses. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, good knee. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, Gus. Press mark. Get that takedown. Let's win the round. Connected with a solid punch right there. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feed, and there is that inside the <laughs> The kick is blocked. Back and forth we go. These two were intent to make a good fight. Takedown defense holds up. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. 20 
seconds left. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the stool. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Just misses with the jab there. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Just out of range with that left hook. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, that's a good lead left. There's the kick. You gotta get deep here. Just over three minutes now to go. All right, there it is. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you could tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Just missed with the left there. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Man, how good is this? Back and forth we go. One minute now to go on the third. Oh, oh got to keep pressing here. Oh, up the Perfect execution on that team. Oh, man, it ain't. Oh! oh, the jab followed by the right hand. Final seconds of round three. All right. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, deep breath. Good round. That was a good round, but I need those kicks to land a little more. All right? I don't want you to get timed. By four. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to 
make sure that you're ready to go to the next 10 minutes. Nice, solid punch from him. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Ooh. All right, so now his body language really starting to change, and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know it. Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Misses with the left hook. Pretty fast jab. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, huge left. Oh, nice right hand. Some real power shots here. Thirty seconds to go in the round. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Uh, 20 down, five to go. Stop, stop, stop. Great work last round. Keep that pace up. Wow, I'm impressed. I want you to keep pushing. Keep breaking this guy down. Keep changing up your strikes. All right, so what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landed those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Gets caught with that punch. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head. Oh, he's wobbling now. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, nice switch kick. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. Big body kick. Three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing... That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, left hook to the head. Man has hit his 
Chin been tested early. Straight punch is good. Goes to the switch kick and lands. You got that weapon in your arsenal or what? It is a great strike, and I've done it a number of times. I actually threw it in both fights against Steve Emilch. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Both fighters throwing heat now. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. His work. 30 seconds now to go on the fight. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one, even a trained professional fighter, can take too many of those strikes. And there is the final form. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. All right, so the fight goes the championship distance, and you may want to get the black and gold colors out. We're getting a new champion tonight. He turned in a beautiful striking display tonight. This is one of the best performances that we have seen from a challenger in a really long time. He relied on the striking. He understood that that's where he had the advantage. He used all of his advantages, and I feel like we will hear and new very shortly. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Warrior. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion, and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star and a massive draw for the UFC.